All right, it's the Battle of the Orange. Tampa Bay Bucks versus the Cleveland Browns. Brian Hoyers played well for the uh, for the Browns, looking to go 8-3 and three as a starter for Cleveland. Mike Pettin, meanwhile, trying to keep his team alive in the AFC North, the only division where every team has a winning record. All right, first quarter. Buccaneers, Mike Glennon, passing deep, but the ball is tipped by Joe Hayden and then intercepted by Dante Whitner. And look at the man go, 54 yards down at the Buccaneers' 21-yard line. Take another look at this play by Joe Hayden. A beautiful, a beautiful job by Joe Hayden to keep the ball alive for Dante Whitner to make that interception. A beautiful play there. All right, second quarter now. Buccaneers with it. They're trailing six to nothing, but not for very long. Mike Glenn it throws deep again to Mike Evans, but this time it's a touchdown. 24 yards, and the Bucs lead 7-6. But how about this? Mike Evans with a little Manziel money sign. Remember, they did go to school together, but is it a diss or a tribute? Not sure. Ensuing Browns possession. Hoyer's pass intercepted by Jonathan Banks, and the Bucs will take over at the Browns' 10-yard line. All right, two plays later. Mike Glennon looking end zone, but picked off by Tashawn Gibson. Gibson actually leads the league with six picks right now. A good play by him. Third quarter, Browns with it. Hoyer on goal to go, finds Terrence West for a little dump off pass and a two yard score. And the Browns lead 16 to 10. Next Bucks possession, Mike Glennon looking for Mike Evans again. And the Mike and Mike connection is good. A 24 yard touchdown. And again, another money sign. Is it a diss or a tribute? We'll have to wait to find out. Fourth quarter, Browns ball. Hoyer's pass deflected by Bradley McDougal and intercepted by Clinton McDonald. The Bucks take over. Fourth quarter, five plays later, Bucks lining up to punt. Michael Conan, his punt deflected by Craig Robertson. And the Browns take over the Buccaneers 35 yard line. So how about the ensuing Browns possession? This on second down, Brian Hoyer. Good amount of time, scanning the field, firing, and then finding a wide open Taylor Gabriel. A 34 yard touchdown. The Browns would go for two, but could not convert. So they leave 22 to 17, Hoyer, 300 yards and two touchdowns. But Mike Glennon trying to answer right back. Finding Mike Evans yet again, a 31-yard hookup there. That's late in the fourth quarter. Evans would finish with 124 yards and two scores. Four plays later on fourth down. Mike Glennon throws complete to Mike Evans for a nine-yard gain. You think, wait a second, that's a first down, but no. Offensive pass interference. Take another look. It looked like Mike Evans pushed off a bit on Buster Screen for the reception. Controversial call, but that means another fourth down try. 145 left to go in the game. Glennon looking for another rookie, Austin Safarian Jenkins, but that would not hold up. 22 to 17, your final, as the Browns approved to 5 and 3.